sir. Hi, Sam. Miss Orr, most of my friends have started learning addition and subtraction in math. When will I start? I am really looking forward to it. Hmm. Addition means bringing together. And when we bring together some things, we end up with more than we originally had. And the opposite is subtraction. To subtract means to take away. When we take away something, we are left with lesser than what we originally had. In math, we learn the techniques of adding and subtracting numbers and we will start that very soon. Addition and subtraction are very important because we need them in real life situations. What type of real life situations? Let us take an example. I have 43 candies in the first jar and 26 candies in the second jar. How many candies do I have all together? See, I described the real life situation in English and did not use words like add and subtract. And that's how it generally is. So we need to be able to understand the situation expressed in regular language and identify which math techniques and operations, like addition or subtraction, to use to get the answer. I see what you mean. So, how do we find out the number of candies altogether? First of all, you need to think, to get the total candies, do we need to bring together the candies in the two jars or take some candies away? Well, obviously, bring together. That is what the word all together tells us. Correct. All together is a key word which gives us a hint that we need to do addition to get the required solution. Interesting. Are there more such keywords? Oh, yes. And I will share some more situations and we can together identify more keywords. So here is another real life situation. I bought some chocolates for $12. I also bought some ribbons for $13. How many dollars did I spend in total? In this case, the word total tells us that we have to bring together the amount spent on chocolates and the amount spent on ribbons. In other words, we have to add them. So now I know two keywords for addition, all together and total. Yes, and let's see another situation. I have 11 glasses of orange juice. I also have 10 glasses of pomegranate juice. If I combine them, how many glasses of mixed fruit juice will I get? I know. The word combine is telling us that we have to bring together the 11 glasses of orange juice and 10 glasses of pomegranate juice. And bringing together means adding. So, combine would be another keyword for addition. That is correct. Well done. Let us see another one. The fan is running at speed 2. Look over here, one, two, that is where this arrow is pointing. Tim increases it by three. One, two, three. What is the fan speed now? In this case, the words increased by tell us that we need to add three to the speed two. So we have one more keyword for addition, increase by. That's right. Now listen to this situation. Team A scored 28 points in a match. Team B scored 6 points more than Team A. How many points did Team B score? Well, 6 points more than Team A. So it means that we need to bring together 28 points and 6 points. And 
the key word that tells us that is more. Correct, Sam. More is yet another keyword for addition. And here is one more situation. In a test, Zoe scored 25 marks for her answers plus 5 marks for good handwriting. How many marks did Zoe score in the test? So she scored 25 marks plus 5 marks. So the keyword here is plus, which tells us that we have to bring together 25 marks and 5 marks. Very good, Sam. And so plus is yet another keyword for addition. Now, should we see some keywords for subtraction? Oh, absolutely. I'm ready for it. Just to remind us, to subtract means to take away. And we will be left with less than what we originally had. So let's take a real life situation. Tom has 36 cars. His friends take away 12 cars. How many toy cars? Does Tom have now? Well, we already know that take away means subtracting. So we have to subtract 12 cars from 36 cars. So take away would be a keyword for subtraction. Absolutely right. Mom baked 24 cupcakes. Tina and her friends ate 12 out of them. How many cupcakes are remaining? In this case, the word remaining tells us that we need to take away the number of cupcakes eaten from the number of cupcakes baked. So remaining is another keyword for subtraction. Makes sense. Bill's hens laid 25 eggs. 18 of them hatched. How many eggs are left? Well, the word left tells me that we need to take away the eggs hatch from the eggs laid. So left will be another keyword for subtraction. Very good, Sam. Now, the fan is running at speed 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Tim decreased it by 3. 1, 2, 3. What is the fan speed now? Well, I think the words decreased by tell us that we need to take away 3 from speed 6. Excellent, Sam. So, decreased by would be keywords for subtraction. Team A scored 28 points in a match. Team B scored 6 points. Less than team A. How many points did team B score? Oh, that is easy. The word less tells us that we need to take away 6 from 28 points. So less is another keyword for subtraction. Very good, Sam. Wow, Miss R. This was a very interesting lesson. I sure look forward to learning the techniques of addition and subtraction in the next classes. Please like, share and subscribe.